Heat is keeping local researchers busy tonight, tracking how these rising temperatures and climate change affect parts of the city differently. CBS 2's Tara Molina reports their work allows scientists to tailor solutions to specific neighborhoods. All 77 of Chicago's neighborhoods feel hot right now, but Humboldt Park is one of the neighborhoods this research team has designated as a heat island. A heat island they're working to better understand so that they can move forward and better protect this area with the help of the community here. Heat is affecting the residents in more dramatic kinds of ways. A longtime leader in the Humboldt Park community, Dr. Ralph Centrone knows the neighborhood and the people who make it special. And as chair of the Climate Change Committee, he also knows the challenges it faces now and could face as a heat island. He's working directly with this team to study the current challenges climate change presents in Chicago while working proactively on what's to come. If you can have that kind of data, then you can use that data to get, let's say, grants for planting more and more trees. That might be a simple kind of solution. They're a team of scientists and researchers from the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory, community groups, and local colleges and universities. When you're in an engineered environment like Chicago, the effects of climate change can be can be amplified. The federally funded $25 million program is called Community Research on Climate and Urban Science, or CROCUS. Equipment like you see here on the roof at Northeastern Illinois University will be spread throughout 20 other locations in Chicago. It's the end of this project, we are hoping to understand how these heat islands are impacting various neighborhoods. Their research and data will ultimately lead to best solutions for neighborhoods like this one. Solutions like increased green spaces, added trees, green roofs, and changes in construction. Uh, the more we know, uh, the better equipped we will be on providing these people with tools how to fight it and how to tackle it. This team will be at work through 2027. You can head to this story on our website right now to learn more about their work here in Humboldt Park and across the city of Chicago. Reporting in Humboldt Park, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.